Okay, so here we have uh, four numbers that just need to be placed, and it says use reasonably reasonable estimate. So a man weighs 88 kilograms. This is 22 times the amount that he weighed at birth. So he weighed four kilograms at birth. Um, he drives his car 20 miles per hour, and this is 15 times the distance that he walks in one hour. So he would walk four miles an hour, which is pretty, pretty basic. There is nothing quite like a good tree diagram. So when we take a look at the question, though, an uh, outfit has one shirt, one pair of pants, and one color of shoes. So with that, the question is, what is the total uh, number of possible outcomes with a white shirt? So we really can look at the fact that we can get um, two different outfits per pant. So here is two, then this would be four, and then this one would be five and six. So with just the white shirt as the base, we can get six different outfits. Okay, so a baseball team has four pitchers and three catchers. How many pitcher-catcher combinations can they have? They can have 12. And that's really just simply uh, four times three. So that one's not tough. All right. So if we list all the possible two-digit numbers that can be made using um, each of the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4 exactly once, no double digits, so you can't have an 11 or a 22, 33, 44, really this is just about being organized. So I want to make all the, all the two-digit numbers I can with, with a 1 in the tens place, then all the two-digit numbers that I can with the 2 in the tens place, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So here are the outcomes. I listed them here for you, and then that's 12 total. Again, this one here is just really about being organized. So to really list all of the possibilities, so here I took the black color and put it with a gear, 15, 15 gears, and then um, suspension, just front suspension. Um, so I did that with all the black uh, as, the, as the color of the bike. And then really the green is the same. I would just swap out the B for a G. So this was six total. So if I was going to say how many possible are total with, with, um, with both colors of bikes, that would be 12. Okay. And then what is the total number of ways that Ellen can order a bike with just front suspension? So really it's two times three times one. Um, so it's six, six possibilities. 2 times 3 times 1, because there's only one combination there for suspensions. Where it is 2 times 3 times 2 for his number of possibilities of 12 with, with both of those suspension options. All right. Okay, so these spinners here, uh, to list all the possible outcomes, I, I took red and that you can get red A, red B, red C. So I get red on the left spinner, and then A, B, or C on the right spinner. And then same for, for um, blue. I can get blue, and then A, B, C, and then I can get uh, green with A, B, C, and then I can get yellow with A, B, C. So each one has three possible outcomes. So again, it's four times three, so there's 12. And then explain why all of the possible outcomes are not equally likely is because A is larger. So you're more likely to spin an A than a B or a C. And I think, I don't know if B and C are all that different um, in shape. I would say they're probably equally likely to land on B and C, but A is, a is almost 50%. So you're going to land on A uh, most of the time. As far as the colors, they're all equally likely. So really, it's just the A, B, and C that are different. Okay, now you can work really hard on this problem, but really, I just was trying to think of what, what's kind of reasonable here. So popcorn, we could have popcorn come in three sizes, a small bag, a box, which is a little bigger than the bag, and then the tub, which is, you know, like enough popcorn for 20 people. But if you ordered the tub by yourself, you'd probably eat it all. Anyway, drink sizes, small, medium, large. You could go with a fourth size of like extra large or jumbo and then snacks, 
uh, since I had three and four already, I had to have six snacks. There's a lot of different ways you can slice this. You could do uh, three, three, um, three, three, and, and eight, I think works. So if you had three, three, and eight, it would look like this. Three times three is nine. Nine times eight is 72. So that would also work. Um, again, you could play around with this to make all kinds of different things. You can also write out uh, the words here, popcorn sizes, you know, medium, small, extra large, large, whatever you want. Um, so whatever you did here, these are, this is what I'm doing with it. I'm just showing my numbers. All right, so Josh and his 20 tiles, and you have to draw a tile that's greater than 20, or it shouldn't be greater than 15, so that leaves you... Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So that's five. So five twentieths or one fourth or 25%. So um, you have a 25% chance. All right. Suppose you perform an experiment 50 times and your friend performs the same experiment 500 times. Who experimental probability? Whose experimental probability would you expect to be closer to theoretical probability? Um, so we're going to have to go with the friend very easily because of the law of large numbers. Uh, they should be moving very close to experimental and theoretical. All right. Now, Susan, uh, read this question carefully because it says, what is the probability that she does not select a yellow or an orange marker? So that means that there are 25 markers total. There are 11 that are not yellow or orange. So she's got a 44% chance of not choosing a yellow or an orange. All right, so here with this spinner, uh, one-sixth is blue, so I took half and divided it into three pieces, so that is six. We we can say that those are pretty close together. This, uh, this middle one here looks a little suspicious, but anyway, so blue is one-sixth, and then red gets the other half of the spinner, so red is at 50% or one-half. Okay, so let's take a look at this chart. We've got 20 students. So what's the probability that, that a student likes bagels? So 2 out of 20, 1 tenth, 10%. About how many students out of 100 would you expect to like bagels? Well, 20 into 100 is, is, goes 5 times, so we'd have to increase that by this whole experiment by 5 to really know. So then cereal would be 50, muffins would be 40, bagels would be 10. So then we still, now we have 100. All right, and then uh, predict how many students out of 500 would like muffins. So I just I just took um, the eight out of 20 and set that equal to the unknown amount of students over 500. And so then I did a cross multiply, 20x is equal to 4,000, divide both sides by 20, and x is 200. So about 200 kids would like, like a muffin if we surveyed um, a, a 500 students. All right, so a single trial of an experiment consists of flipping a coin three times. Suppose you perform this experiment 100 times. About how many times would you expect to get um, heads, tails? Um, so three heads, three tails. Show your, um, explain your reasoning. Well, so what I did here was I just listed, if I flip a coin three times, what are my possible outcomes? So I've got heads, 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 tails, heads. Heads, tails, tails, etc., etc. You can read all my stuff. I can only get heads, 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 and tail, tail, tail uh, two ways. And so two out of eight, that's one fourth or 25%. Um, so really, I would get that 25% of the time. And, you know, theoretical probability tells me that I should get that about 25% of the time. Um, so if, if I do this 100 times, I should get it. 25 out of uh, out of 100. Uh, that's still not a real high percentage. That means 75% of the time I won't get that. So, yes. All right. Now, all right. So, this is kind of a weird one. So, these three people are spinning the spinner. They're going to do it 30 times, and we know their outcome only for red so I just answered for red. George is going to get 10 times on red. Greta, two-fifths, is going to get 12. And Owen, one-tenth, is only going to get three times on red. 
Now, really, your chart can be, your other numbers could be anything as long as in George's column, Greta's column, Owen's column, the total number of spins equals 30. So some possible answers for George could be like 13 and 7. He could go 10s all the way across, 10, 10, 10. Uh, that would be really, that'd be really cool. Uh, this, for Greta, it could be 8. And then here it could be 10. Okay, and that gives me 30. And then for Owen, who knows? Let's go 10 here. That gives me 13. And then here, I've got to bring that up to 30, so I'll do 17. Again, those other colors we don't know, so you just have to make them up so that it equals 30 for their that one person's column.